Thank you. Now to the Derek Williams inquest case. Today, medical experts told the jury how they think Derek Williams died. You'll recall Williams had trouble breathing in the back of a Milwaukee police squad car back in 2011 and died a short time later. Now, this inquest jury must decide what caused Williams' death, and if anyone is at fault, they will make a recommendation. It is an advisory one at that. Fox 6's Myra Sanchik is live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse with the latest. Yeah, today, two experts from Milwaukee County testified that they believe Williams died of something called sickle cell crisis. It's when your blood cells become misshapen. And if you have that trait, the sickle cell trait, according to these experts, that can happen for a number of different reasons. What caused Derek Williams to go into what's called a sickle cell crisis, leading to his death July 2011? Experts testified an autopsy showed Williams died because his blood cells became sickle shaped and would not carry oxygen through his body. Williams had the sickle cell trait. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner testified stress and lack of oxygen can contribute to the crisis. Williams was chased by police and struggled with one that night. There was this factor as well. A mask discovered at a robbery scene in which police say Williams was trying to rob two college students right before the police chase. Is that something that might inhibit a person's breathing? Sure. Do you have any opinion as to whether that was a factor in causing a sickle cell crisis? Um, obviously, what I don't know um, is how long Mr. Williams is wearing this mask, but my opinion would be, based on the, the small holes there for breathing, that as long as he had that on, it would have been a factor. Now, an initial examination, according to the autopsy, showed that there may have been a broken bone in Williams' neck caused possibly by a struggle with police that may have impaired his breathing. However, there were further examinations done, and today uh, the examiners did say that was not the case. He did not have a broken neck bone, which could have led to his difficulty in breathing. Reporting live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Is this one of those situations, and they're rare, where jurors are allowed to ask questions? They can. Um, so far, no juror has asked a question. They can forward written questions to the special prosecutor, and the prosecutor will decide if legally if they can be asked. However, that has not happened yet. Myra Sanchik, outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, thank you. Well, certainly you can.